California. We, on the other hand, are looking forward to a little moisture today. Huh? Uh, yes, it's so needed for parts of southern Colorado. The thing is, though, a lot of this moisture won't be tracking to our region, at least until later on tonight during Rachel Plath's shift. So make sure to tune in 4, 5, 6, and 10 p.m. She'll be tracking all of the road conditions for you. I expect at first mostly wet roads, but later on tonight could see some slushy conditions. Palmer Divide, Teller County. Let's take you outside and show you what our live HD Doppler radar is indicating in terms of any stormy activity. Right now, we are looking pretty calm and quiet along the I-25 corridor and stretching into the eastern plains. Earlier this morning, seeing some drizzle, even a few snowflakes here or there, mostly for northern El Paso County and into Castle Rock. Now, a lot of that activity right now is taking place north of Denver, but we'll start to see this activity a little bit later, I'm saying during the evening drive and the latter portion of that. Right now, we do have a red flag warning in effect for much of uh, southern Colorado. We're talking Alamosa, Canyon City, Walsenburg, Trinidad, Pueblo, as well as areas near La Junta. Those will go into effect until 2 p.m., but this red flag warning will last all the way through 8 o'clock. Bottom line for you, all of those you know specific times aside, it's just another chance for us to be extra careful because there are perfect conditions for rapid, fi rapid fire growth this afternoon. Dry, gusty conditions creating, unfortunately, the perfect recipe for that. So, again, be extra careful and use caution. Right now, temperatures across southern Colorado cooler than yesterday, 40s and 50s along the I-25 corridor. We're tracking even some of those 60s. Trinidad, as well as areas in the eastern plains. Leadville at 38, Salida 56, 57 right now for Alamosa. Wind speeds are blustery across the area. 20 mile per hour winds in Alamosa. 14 mile per hour winds in Colorado Springs and we're ranging the teens also for the eastern plains. So you'll notice this just about everywhere you go across southern Colorado this afternoon. Here's a look at the timing of that incoming storm with that rain and snow mix. We pause the clock at 7 p.m. and you can start to see some of that snow impacting areas just south of Denver too, starting to creep into the Palmer Divide. Then after that, yep, starts to sweep on through, impacting the Palmer Divide as well as areas of Teller County. So I'm saying overall we could see some slushy conditions and tack on a couple of inches by tomorrow morning, Teller County, along with Monument, uh, mostly on kind of some of those colder areas, you know, grassy areas, as well as cars, patio furniture, that kind of thing. This dissipates by tomorrow morning. Tomorrow afternoon, we're looking pretty clear with a mixture of sun and clouds. Still cool, though. Take a look. We'll be 44 for a daytime high in Colorado Springs, but we have a lovely weekend to look forward to. And with Easter, of course, always making sure to track that closely. 69 Sunday in Colorado Springs, our next chance for some showers coming the middle of next work week. In Pueblo, take a look, 49 tomorrow's high, mid 70s by Sunday, sunny skies there. Monday through Tuesday looking dry with Wednesday and Thursday, our next chance for some rain. In Canyon City, 48 tomorrow, the slight chance for uh, some rain and snow and during the early morning hours, dissipating though pretty quickly Saturday and Sunday. Mostly sunny skies for you. And finally for Teller County, 38 tomorrow, so it will feel chilly out there, so make sure you grab the jacket. Already plan ahead for some extra time with some of those slushy spots anticipated. Saturday all the way through Tuesday looking pretty dry with some sunshine to go around. And then also some rain and snow possible next Wednesday and Thursday. So yeah, definitely stick with us throughout the evening um, in the evening drive. Rachel Plath will be showing you just live looks at road conditions. I'm expecting things to get a little slushy by the 10 p.m. show, so tune in then too. All right. Thanks, Abby. Yep. Now we're uh, expecting.